You're listening to the Tony Kiley Morning Show on 1320 WILS, 1320WILS.com. Constantly looking down at your cell phone, checking Facebook or texting could be taking a huge toll on your neck, up to 60 pounds worth. That's equivalent to an 8-year-old uh, uh, or four bowling balls. Researchers of the study say uh, that kind of stress can lead to early wear and tear and degeneration and possible surgeries. Let's learn a little bit more uh, about this from Dr. James Pinckney. Dr. James is a 1320 WILS and Fox News Radio medical expert. He's the founder and CEO of Diamond Physicians in Dallas, and he's actually treated patients suffering from tech neck, if you will. Dr. James, how are you? Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me on the show. A tech neck, that's uh, a funny term. How big a problem is that? You know, it's a growing issue, tech neck or text neck. With all these smart devices out there, uh, smartphones, tablets, uh, iPads, Android devices, people are spending more and more time on their device, looking down, stressing the neck, and it's causing major cervical spine issues. I worry about this. Uh, not only do people like me and my wife who constantly work on our phone actually doing you know, work on it, but we communicate this way uh, with our 13 and 11-year-olds, and they're constantly communicating, so you worry about the wear and tear. What does it to do to your body, and especially your neck? Well, when your body is out of alignment, so your neck is leaning forward and looking down at your phone, it actually puts a lot of stress on that cervical spine and the muscles beside the spine called the paracervical muscles, and then it can lead to degenerative joint disease. You can actually get uh, intervertebral disc uh, pain and, and cause tears, what we call annular tears in the disc, uh, and it can cause major issues down the line. So I really want people to raise their cell phone or raise their device to eye level so your, so your spine is in a nice, neutral, anatomical position. What about our kids? Is this a, a challenge for them also? Absolutely. You know, I'm seeing more and more young adults, not necessarily kids, but uh, 18, 19, 20-year-olds in the ER with neck problems. Uh, and uh, it could be a serious issue in the next decade if we don't try and fix uh, these problems. It's kind of like uh, similar to carpal tunnel syndrome when the keyboard first was introduced we saw a huge increase in carpal tunnel because people aren't positioning themselves properly at the keyboard, giving their uh, proper wrist support. All right. As I speak to you now, I'm kind of looking down at my keyboards, and I, I should know a little better. Uh, I have learned to try to fire a higher table and maybe lower my chair. What else can we do to make sure that we're using our devices at an optimal, pl uh, optimal place? W w where should we have these situated? You know, you can uh, use a pillow. When you're in the bed, prop it up so a little bit higher so you're not looking uh, directly down. Um, when you're working at, at work, that's a great idea. You can use one of these standing desks so that you're keeping your devices eye level and keeping that cervical spine in a neutral position. All right, and if we find ourselves having challenges, well, what can we do to try and get ourselves uh, back together? Well, the, what I do in the ER, I'll often prescribe a muscle relaxant to help relax some of those paracervical muscles and, and give you some relief there. A uh, heating pad is great. Uh, then, of course, stop texting and looking at your phone to give those muscles in that spine a little bit of a break. Can adjustments from a chiropractor also help? If you're going to look for adjustments, I like chiropractors that actually do uh, muscular adjustments uh, because if you just adjust the spine, if your muscles are out of balance, they're going to move the spine back into misalignment. So you really need to focus more on the muscles uh, as well as the spine. Is there a resource we can learn more about this, Dr. James? Uh, you can. Uh, there's a couple places you can go. Uh, you can Google tech neck. I saw a lot of uh, information that popped up from there. And then, of course, you can go to diamondphysicians.com to learn more about uh, our practice and what we do in Dallas. We've been talking with Dr. James Pinckney, who's a 1320 WILS and Fox News Radio medical expert. Dr. Pinckney, thanks so much. Well, thanks for having me on. It's the Tony Conley Morning Show on more compelling talk radio, 1320 WILS and 1320WILS.com.